long does a medical detox generally last? First well, it, of all, it kind of depends. It's an insurance thing also with folks. Um, it could be 30 days to 90 days, depending on the issue. It's very okay. custom. To, yeah, to I, I figured it would be different. Yeah. But. Um, and how, how harsh, how long they've been, um, uh, you know, in, in that predicament in okay. their life. Some people, they're, they're 20 years of, of substance abuse. Mm. Uh, the average person goes out, in and out of a uh, of that cycle for uh, at least four times in their life. My brother went in and out of rehabs four times and unfortunately committed suicide. And, and you know, uh, that was that. And was that, I, was that a big part to do with why you're doing yes, what you're doing? Yes, that okay. is my focus. Uh, I saw, not only did it to, to me, but I saw what they did to my parents. The, the, they tried to do everything right. Uh, my mom, you know, like, what did I do wrong? Like living with that, with no answers and an understanding. So mm. the, the pain that they felt, so it was so visceral for me that I decided like this, you know, as, you know, it was just my whole life. I felt like I was building towards something. And I, I'm on know, the same page, you know, and, and that, that was your like, not awakening, yeah. but that was, that was your calling. It was. And, and as bad as that is, it yeah. might have been the best thing as far as helping other people, would you say? Absolutely. Uh, I, I don't like to say that. Yeah, I say it very no, lightly. You, you no, know, it's that. I mean, sometimes um, we're leveraged to such an intense point yeah. that you're able to move. So I, I work with what I call um, high functioning professionals too, right? So these are executives. These are CEOs, owners of business, um, higher ma upper management, athletes, uh, and musicians too. And what happens is those folks are in a power position. So mm. it's easier, four times more likely for them not to get help because they can get away with delegating or they can get away from not, you know, not oh, having you mean to face the, the music. You mean right? those people being addicted? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, really? so they, yeah. So the regular guy, you know, like it's, it's um, not easy to hide if you have to be at work at nine. But when you're the, the boss or CEO to a company, gotcha. you can. So anyway, you dive even deeper. And then also you think about it, they're responsible maybe for a hundred people's jobs, a thousand people's jobs. Uh, there's a lot going on there. So we have a very discreet and private way to connect with them and stay with us. Um, because they're looking for for that kind of thing. And also we don't call it a rehab because we're really not, we're a reset. I like that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so the stigma of like, I got to go to rehab. They're just going to, I'm not doing it. Uh, there's shame, right? There's guilt, all this stuff. But when we share something, we, we are a holistic retreat and then we're creating a, a reset for people's life, get them back online. And we mm -hmm. have what's called the Chi to Life program. The Chi to Life is the key to life. Chi, going back to like yes, martial arts, and, meditation. Yes, and the key to life is first and foremost is to simply breathe. And then we bring about the other components, the other modalities to be able to bring people back online. And it has to be intense, man. It's got to be crazy intense because if you think the dopamine hit that you're getting, whether you do uh, cocaine or, mm. or what, you know, even, even social media, we're getting those, mm. those, those micro hits, bang, 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 you know, the, the news feed, the, all, all the things that, that, add up but overnight that's so intense so the way that i share the breath work is 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 like you feel the earth open up you are you're are, trying to match that or are you yes, better that feeling yes i i so i bring it so now they're sober but now they like i am they're in this um deficit like they need it so what can i give to them that is healthy oh, the, uh, and, that help, and i that's bring powerful, yeah, right? control the adrenaline into the body so they need this yes. they need this thing but and then i throw them in the cold it. plunge right and then all of a sudden then you're getting that that, that dopamine from the cold which you're going to do later today with uh, some folks um it's fantastic but it helps people like it's so you got you're sitting there and you got to basically you're dealing with your stuff i'll just put it that way nicely i don't know if we can curse so i just like, no no okay, good say whatever you like so, so you're dealing with your shit you yeah. are sitting there in in that moment and i i you, i look at the cold plunge and in the ice and all that that's that is uh, that is the negativity that's the toxicity that's all the stuff in, in the world that is uh, that's so draining in the, in the burden that we hold and everything. And that's you being the still point. That's you facing it and laughing in the face of adversity and overcoming. And if you can do that for five minutes at, you know, 35 degrees and on, over and over again. And so, um, you feel that yes, there is hope and yes, that I can overcome and that I can actually have a life of purpose and passion and get back to baseline and, and, my family, they, they, there'll be a level of forgiveness. We, we go through, again, we connect with the family and bridge that gap because so many times, why should I even bother getting sober? They'll never forgive me. 